Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. My name is Dylan from NWR Productions, and we are back again with another Lionel unboxing slash review slash running session slash whatever you want to call it, because I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's get right into it. So first things I want to say is, um, I know it's been a couple months since I've posted any videos. Um, I do apologize about that. Stuff has been getting in the way, such as school, but I do have good news. School is almost out which means I can get back into the swing of making videos. And another reason I haven't made a video in a while is because not many new products have come in recently. So we're just kind of waiting for our summer order. Um, but yeah, right here is one of the new Lionel uh, SD70 ACEs uh, that came out in the 2023 Volume 2 catalog. Um, and we're gonna unbox it right now. So let's get started and I'll stop slapping the box. All right, so I don't really want to show everyone what this one is immediately. I'd like to be, have it be a surprise. Oh, there is the standard yellow, I mean orange, Lionel box. And it is the Norfolk Southern New York Central Legacy Heritage Unit SD70 ACE number 1066. Let's see, it's got legacy and Bluetooth control, legacy rail sounds, fan driven smoke, LED lighting, and 036 minimum curve. It is item number 2433080 and is from ages 14 to adult. Don't know why that's relevant, but it is. So let's get into this thing. Right, there is the box. And it does sound like something shaking, but I guarantee you that's on the desk. If you can see it right there, there it is. And this does have some very interesting feeling packaging. Not sure what they did for this, but who knows? Who knows what line I was trying to do? Mmm, this might take a while. Alright, let's fast forward to when I get the... There we go. And here it is. This is the Lionel SD70 ACE New York Central Norfolk Southern Heritage Unit. It is a very beautiful locomotive, I must say. It's very glossy. There you've got the New York Central logo on the front. Several cab details, as well as you can move these windows to see the uh, crew. Let's go down. It's got the classic New York Central lightning stripe. And coming around to the rear, nothing too special. I do like these, um, the yellow sort of details on the railings. And yeah, this is a very cool locomotive, I must say. I have never seen this locomotive in person because I live on the West Coast uh, and quite far away from this thing. But it would be nice to see this thing in person. Now let's set this down and let's get it up on the layout. All right, now we've got the locomotive up on the layout and it does look very good. Uh, and behind it is just kind of a fantasy consist I put behind it. Uh, I put a, another heritage unit right behind it and that is the Union Pacific's Rio Grande heritage unit as well as uh, eight Union Pacific excursion passenger cars, almost like an uh, office car special uh, done on the Union Pacific but with a bit of a twist as we are adding New York Central on the point. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. First, we're just gonna fire up the single locomotive, then we'll fire up both locomotives. All right, before we get this thing started, I'm gonna tell you a couple things about the history of this locomotive. The real NS1066 is a EMD or Electromotive Division SD70 ACE or ACE, however you wanna pronounce it, built in May of 2012. It has been made into a model form several times, 
and its most recent one was in Lionel's 2023 Volume 2 catalog, where it was featured along with a couple other Norfolk Southern Heritage units. That's really all I know, so let's get this thing started. All right, first we are just starting up the Norfolk Southern locomotive because these two make a ton of noise in between themselves. So let's go. This is dispatch. Please start up and stand by for track orders. Over. All right, let's get her going. Out. into its sleep mode and periodically you will hear a that noise a sort of grinding noise and we'll just leave it doing that for a for a little bit and you can start restart the locomotive up by pressing any sort of button so you can use the dialog button you can increase the uh, rpms you can um hit one of the light buttons, whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press the, uh, the tower dialog and start this thing back up. It's gonna be running all along if we don't move on soon.
session uh, this model is a great locomotive um, and if you made it this far in the video uh, I just want to say thank you uh, and have a good one <laughs>